Here I have a very interesting question from the chapter similarity of triangle. The question is saying here the line segment XY parallel to the side AC of triangle ABC. They are talking about this triangle, okay? And, uh, and it divides the triangle into the two equal areas. Find the ratio of AX over AB. Okay, let me first make you a little understood this question. Uh, here they are talking about that line segment XY is parallel to the AC. So this line segment XY, you know, is parallel with the side AC. So further uh, of triangle ABC and it divides the triangle into the two equal areas. Okay, so when this line we cut in this uh, in this triangle bigger triangle ABC, then we get two areas. You know, one area is, is this and another area is this. Both are equal. So that's why uh, what we can understand that the area of this triangle XBY is half of the triangle's area uh, ABC. Okay, and we need to find out the ratio of AX over AB. Okay, so what's that? So to calculate, let's uh, let's first uh, write everything, you know, All right? So first given thing, I'm writing here given things. The first one is x y parallel to uh, a c, and the second thing is uh, the triangle a b c, and it divides the triangle divides the triangle into two parts of equal areas. All right. So when we draw the line x y, the whole triangle has been divided into the two equal parts. In, it means uh, this area and this area should be equal or you can say this area is half of the whole triangle's area so what i'm going to write area of triangle uh, x y b i'm talking about this particular area all right x y b is equals to area of uh, the quadrilateral x y c a all right x y c a which is also equals to half of uh, triangle half of area of triangle a b c so this is equal this is equal and if this is let's say m and this is m then the whole is 2m so this this particular i mean to say this particular area is or this particular area is half of the whole triangle's area all right because they are making yeah uh, this this x y is making half to this complete triangle's area okay so this is given and we need to find to find a x over a b all right equals to what so how to do it now and as i told you in the starting of this video that this this question is from the similarity of triangles and you know before solving this question let me uh, move you somewhere uh, into the similarity of triangles first uh, in similarity of triangles you need to learn one thing uh, or you might have already learned that let's say this is a b c x y let's for a while all right it's not that figure i'm talking about uh, if if triangle ABC and I mean this whole triangle ABC and triangle XYZ I'm talking about only this particular this particular area uh, this particular area right if these two triangles one with the one the complete one and another one the smaller one if these two triangles are similar then the area of triangle uh, area of triangle a x y and area of triangle a b c will be equal to the square of their corresponding side corresponding side is a y over a c all right i'm going to say if they are similar right i mean only and only if triangle a b c is similar to triangle a x y only if if this is happening then this will happen uh okay so uh, the corresponding side is a y over a c you know so a y over a c but in triangle there are three corresponding sides so similarly it will be a x over a b square it will be a x over a b whole square similarly one more side we have x y over b c so it is x y over b c whole square this is a uh, a concept or a theorem that you need to learn in similarity of triangles that if the two similar there are there are two similar triangles then the then the ratio of their areas is equals to the square of their ratio of corresponding sides all right so the same thing the same concept i'm going to apply here all right so first but before that to apply that first i need to prove whether this triangle bxy and and uh, this 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 triangle is similar or not you know first we need to prove that I mean this whole triangle and this particular smaller triangle is similar or not that we need to first prove 
Now, why do we need to probe? You may be asking me, why do we need to probe? Because see here, the ratio is given AX over AB. So AX, this is this one, all right? And over the AB, you know, and what's AB? The complete one. So if we become able to show the triangle, this triangle and this bigger triangle similar, then we can find out the ratio of BX over AB. And we can easily convert this BX in the form of AX, all right, later. So let's first try to find out the similarity, whether they are or not. So first thing here, uh, see, the question has given us that these two lines are parallel. So if these two lines are parallel, then this angle and this angle will be equal because if two lines are parallel, then the corresponding angles are equal, you know, one outer side and another inner side. So this is the inner one and this is the outer one, you know. If you look like this, it, it will be like this, you know. Uh, this will be your A, this will be your X, all right. So that time, this, this, this particular angle X and this particular angle A, both are corresponding, all right. So here you can say angle BXY is equal with angle uh, BAC. And the reason for this is uh, corresponding angles, corresponding angles of XY parallel AC, all right. That's XY parallel AC. Similarly, but the, the same corresponding concept will act for the another one. That's angle uh, BYX and angle BCA, all right, these two. So the second is angle BYX equals to angle BCA. And that's again the same reason, corresponding angles of triangle XYZ, all right? Uh, so, sorry, uh, corresponding angle of uh, XY parallel AC. All right. So since two two sides two angles are equal, then automatically third is common here. You can write also, the, or if you don't, then then also it's okay because e in the two triangles, if two angles are equal, then the third side, I mean third angle, automatically becomes equal. All right. Or or if you want, then you can write also. So therefore, directly here, what I can write the triangle uh, BXY is similar to triangle ABC by angle angle criterion of similarity so here we prove these two triangles triangle bxy and triangle abc similar so now since these are similar so let's find out the ratio of their areas all right so therefore area of triangle bxy over the area of triangle abc is equals to the square of their sides, corresponding sides, you know. So corresponding sides is actually xy over ac square, all right. xy over ac, you know, you can you can do xy over ac whole square or if you want, then you can do bx over ba square, all right. That is ab. So that's bx over ba whole square or or you can do by over bc square all right by over bc square all right and now there are three things you know first let's give the reason of this ratio of the ratio of this ratio of the area of area of two similar triangles two uh, similar triangles is equal to square of of their corresponding sides okay so now we have the three things but what we need to choose that depends on what we need we need the thing that contains ax and that contains ab keep in mind so where is ab containing things here we have the things that contains ab so let's take these two things one and let's leave those others i mean others means this and this we didn't we didn't have to think about that because we our question uh, is trying to find uh, we need to find out the things according to the question that is hidden here all right so area of triangle uh, area of triangle bxy over the area of triangle area of triangle abc is equal with bx over ab whole square now the thing is what is the ratio of their area you know as i told you as I told you uh, in the given thing, I mean area of triangle XYB or XBY is half of the triangle's area ABC. So from here what you can do, uh, you can find out the area of ratio, you know, area of triangle now XYB over area of triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC is going to be 1 by 2. Or simply you can say this triangle's area is half of the bigger one. So simply you can cut this two, you know, by 
two ones are two. All right. So simply the ratio is one by two because this triangle's area is half of the bigger triangle ABC. All right. You can see in the figure also. Now, what is this BX and AB? Okay. So we don't need BX, you know, we don't need BX. We need AB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this particular BX in terms of AX. How? This BX is complete AB minus AX, right? See, uh, if you have a, if you have a side like this, it is, you know, it's B and in the middle you have X and this is A, you know, exactly I copied this one. See, this is B, X, A. And here, you know, BX, you know. So the same BX, you know, if you want, then it will be A, B minus X, A, or you can say A, X will be more better, all right? A, X, this B, X is complete A, B minus this A, X. So the same thing I'm going to do there AB minus AX divided by AB whole square. Further, let's go one by two, and I'm going to separate the each term AB over AB minus AX over AB, and then whole square. All right, let's cancel this two. Okay, so what I get here, I get one by two equals to one minus AX over AB whole square. All right, okay, so it's one by two, all right, and to solve it, you know, I have to use the formula A minus B whole square, and that's gonna be pretty long. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do one over root two whole square, because because one over root two whole square means one over root two times one over root two, and one times one, that's one, and root two times root two, that's two. So instead of writing one by two, I'm going to write one over root two, uh, square all right so it's going to be 1 minus again a x over a b all square now I can cancel the square both side all right so what I will get 1 over root 2 equals to 1 minus a x over a b now what you can do you can uh, add a x over a b both sides so this will cancel up or you can simply take another side so it will be a x plus a b equals to 1 minus now here it is plus when you go another side it will be minus or you can say subtracting one over square root of two both side so you'll get one over root two and now solve it you'll get root two minus one over root two so the final answer the ratio of ax over ab is root two minus one over root two that's the thing we need according to the equation so we give it to the equation here you take what you need to find out. Okay, that's root two minus one over root two.